Oh my god. So I was wasting my evening and my money on Amazon the other day and it came to my attention that I was seeing a lot of Amazon own brand this, Amazon own brand that. And I was just a bit like, I did not know Amazon had their own like brand. Like you know, Tesco's, you go into Tesco's, they have like normal bread, they have Tesco's own bread. Or like apple juice, stuff like that. It boggled my mind. Like, genuinely. But honestly, I kind of left it at that. I wasn't too interested until I came across um, the alcohol section. <laughs> they do their own wine. Oh my god. And then I did a little YouTube search because I was like, I wonder if anybody's done a whole video testing Amazon own brand products. And I couldn't find one. Maybe there is. I'm not saying I'm the first person to do this. I'm just saying I couldn't find it. And I am actually already in the middle of filming a testing overly small to products video. Um, but that obviously takes a while. My cat is trying to get in the wine box. So that will be out soon. I feel like this one might be out first. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I decided to carry on just looking through. I got the wine that I wanted um, and I've got three other things. Two are here now, one still hasn't arrived but I think it's coming later on tonight so I might film that tomorrow. So it'll be at the end of the video. <laughs> Before I jump into it, hi if you don't know me, Melly Rose Kelly. Hey, I've been trying to change up my content a little bit recently and do more fun videos, um, so I hope you're enjoying them. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you want more videos like this because I'd be more than happy to do them. Make sure to subscribe if you don't know me because we upload videos every single Monday at 3pm and why would you want to miss that? The first thing I'm going to go for is the wine because I think it's the thing I'm most excited about. <laughs> they did have red wine as well. I don't know if they had rosé, I don't remember seeing it. Um, this is what it looks like. I just thought the picture was super, super cute. Um, it's Chardonnay Western Cape 2020 Wine of South Africa. It looks like just normal white wine. I'm not claiming to be any kind of like wine connoisseur, 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 because I am not. I just sometimes like the occasional glass of wine. I'm definitely not a red wine person. Um, I, I like the occasional rosé, but white wine is my go-to. Yeah, I can't, I couldn't really tell you if this is, I do with chicken, mild curries, pasta. I'm not going to be able to open it. Oh no. <laughs> oh, there we go. Mmm, <laughs> the flavours are melting on my tongue. I have me, I don't have a wine glass, I have a gin glass. Gooba, can you get out the Primark bag, please, mate? I feel like such an idiot <laughs> just being like, mm, let me sniff the wine. <laughs> okay. Oh. That's like stronger than I thought. See, because I'm not a massive wine drinker, sometimes I drink, there are wines that I like will take the first sip of and be like, oh. And then once I get used to it, I'm okay with it. Um, yeah, I could drink that. I could drink that pretty easily. Mm. I think this was £4.70, I wanna say, um, which is on the cheaper side of white wine. Uh, there's a few white wines that I buy fairly regularly. Um, if I can find them, I'll put them on screen now. I don't know what they're called, I just know where they are in my local shop and I pick them up. Um, and they're in between five to eight pounds. So, you know, it being a little bit less, like, I think it's alright. Yeah, it's alright. It's just got a little bit of a more, um, I guess stronger taste, but that's just a weird way of saying it. I don't know. Again, I'm not the person to do this, <laughs> even though it was my edit. <laughs> also, the thing about wines, why I don't have it often, is because it goes straight to my head. Like, I could drink a fair amount of cocktails, or a fair amount of pink gins, but with wine, ugh, I can't hack it. Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, it's nice. I like it. I'm gonna say 7 out of 10. Okay, the next thing I've got here is called Happy Belly Select. Berry Collection Jam. Um, and there's three jams in here. When I was going through Amazon looking for stuff to do this video, this particular brand, Happy Belly Select, um, was coming up a lot, because there was a lot of, there wasn't a lot of food, but there was a lot of like, nuts, and like mixed fruit and nut selections. And, like, I don't know why, but like a lot of it was pistachios, almonds, peanuts, <laughs> naming nuts. Um, and I don't like nuts. So I was like, that's, you know, kind of pointless. <laughs> so I opted for jam. Um, I love jam. I just, I don't like jam with bits in it, so I hope this doesn't have bits in. Yeah, it definitely has bits in. This is the a strawberry one. Like I said, there's three in there. There's mixed fruit, raspberry, and strawberry extra jam, so... Ew, okay. Mm, that kind of looks like it's been opened before, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that's good! Mm, don't worry about me fingering the jam, no one else is gonna eat this. <laughs> oh, that's quite good, you know. Okay, the texture is a little bit... I don't want to say watery, but you know how, at least with the jam that I buy, you like, you can move the jar or you could tip it upside down and it would stay because it's like jellified. Is that a word? Jellified? If I picked this up and tipped it like that with the lid not that, it would definitely come out. Um, but I mean, it doesn't really bother me that much. Okay, I like the strawberry. I want to try all of them. Okay, the raspberry. <gasps> See what I mean? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's going everywhere. <gasps> oh my goodness, the other one dropped out. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so strong though. I just licked it off my hand. Woo! 
Okay, I'm no longer sticky. So like I said, it kind of leaks. I think I'm gonna try the rest on bread, so. I'm finally gonna try the jam. Cheers. I mean, it's good, it's tasty. I really, really like jam on toast, but it's like no different from if I were to just buy it at like Tesco's. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Just though you were doing like an Amazon shop and you needed jam, it's fine. Could be a cute little like gift set for someone who like really likes jam or to put in like a tea uh, like hamper if you're making one or something. Apart from that, it's kind of just every other jam. <laughs> but still tasty, I approve. I spilled here. Do you see him? Oh, it's not gonna focus. He, we take, we put nuts in there and he, um, he jumps up and he takes them. And he runs across the road over there. I guess that's where he buries them. He's adorable, I love him. Look, oh, little itch, 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 itch. Hey, Cyril the squirrel. We've also got a Sarah house, like up there. Bye bye. <laughs> You'll see him like run off. That's my mother. <laughs> then I also got some cat food. Um, again, if this is the first time you're seeing me, you will not know that I have a thing for animals. I love animals, animals are great. My dog's barking. I have four cats and I have a dog. Um, and my cats get so sick of the same cat food. Like seriously, we'll buy the mad expensive one. We'll be, we were buying um, on call, which is like, they're like this big, yeah? And they're like a pound or like 150 for like the tiniest thing. Or you can get a, just say like a regular box of 12 cat foods, like sachets, and I say like four pounds. On call or like some other brands, that four pounds would be like 11 pounds and it's like. So what my mum and I like to do is we'll get like a box of whiskers, a box of Perina one, box of Iams with right. the 12, put them in like a massive tray and then when we go out, you know you can get them individually as well, you might pick up three random ones, um, maybe Morrison's own and maybe m and my dog's bucket. Basically we'll just have a massive tray full of so many different random ones so that every time it's different because they just get so sick of the same ones. So are you okay? And again, so I thought that we'd try these. So when I saw these, I was like, great, a different cat for me to try. I'm so sorry if I'm really white. I feel like I'm blending into the wall. Um, I don't have any fake tan on. I'm trying to take a break from fake tan. So now I'm just gonna be eyes. <laughs> the jelly got on it, the jelly, the thing went on it, so now it's super sticky. The price will be on screen now. I remember it being like fairly cheap. I think that's why one of the reasons I got it. Um, it's pate with poultry. Obviously I can't try this. <laughs> so when it's uh, dinner time for the cats, you can come with me and we'll see. But there are these little ones. So I guess we'll see. I dedicate this song. Hello, sweetie. Okay, I'll feed you in a second. Oh my God, we're bright. Well, most of them liked it. Did you like it? Is that tasty? Mmm, licking them lips. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. You still got a little bit left. You're demolishing. <laughs> I think it's pretty safe to say that they liked it. <laughs> Was it good? Hey, Gubshi. Today is the day we are trying the coffee. I'm so sorry for the one lighting angle and audio, but let's make the coffee. <laughs> I need one of these things because I don't have anything else, uh, so yeah. I really hope I'm doing this right. There's no instructions or anything, so I'm just like, oh my bin men are here. I'm just gonna fill it to the top. Oh my god, am I supposed to like stir it because it's like all setting? Should I stir it? It looks like a chocolate. <laughs> like what the hell? Oh my god, I think I made it so strong. It's like really difficult to push down. Oh, I think I put too much in. <laughs> Again, it didn't say. No. <laughs> I'm gonna read the instructions, but there isn't any. Yeah, it's got a picture of the little thing. That's what I have. That's what I'm using, so why isn't it working? I mean, maybe it is. I just I just don't think it is. Let's pour it into a mug. We have a see-through mug, so we can actually, like, see. I'm gonna, like, hold on to the top because it's probably gonna come out and... Oh. Oh, it doesn't look thick. Oh my goodness, okay. Damn, that's a lot taken out of it. Okay, to be fair, I bet. I had quite a bit of milk. <laughs> are we a little too bright? I believe we are. Okay, we're upstairs. I have the coffee. There's a helicopter hovering above my house. It's not for me. <laughs> it's been there for like five, ten minutes and it's not going and I don't want us to get cold. So we're gonna try it even with the da -da 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 in the background. Okay, firstly, I don't know how to make ground coffee. So if this is bad, it might not even be the fact that it's Amazon own. It could just be the fact that, you know, I can't make it. <laughs> it smells very strong, like really, really strong. But it looks like there's no bits in it or anything, so. Oh, it's very strong. Oh my God, that's strong. Ooh. Okay, I like um, strong coffee. And I'm over, I'm a coffee drinker. I'm an avid coffee drinker. But I have had like six cups of coffee today. That is probably stronger than all six of them combined. Yeah, oh my God, that's so strong. Mm-mm, mm-mm. 
Okay, I mean the pros are the fact that I think even though I didn't know how to do it, I did it okay. It's very liquidy, like it's not, there's, I was worried there were going to be like bits in it, but there wasn't. Um, and a little goes a long way, I think we've learned. So, I think it's my fault for putting too much in because I really didn't know what I was doing. So, taste-wise, ignoring the fact that it's probably not necessarily that strong, a little goes a long way. Maybe like a 7 out of 10. It smells like coffee, tastes like coffee, it's not hard to make, and it's, you know, get your use. So, I'm going to say 7 out of 10.